Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I am doing a voiceover because I skipped so many things I was supposed to say with Arteza. <laughs> so I am doing a review with Arteza but with resin. And I picked the Pearl Metallics again um, because I thought they'd be perfect for a Space Galaxy pour. Uh, what I've done is I took a board and I painted it with black Artist Loft Flow. Then I sprinkled some of the um, silver glitter on it. Okay. Then I took a toothbrush and splattered some of uh, the Artist Loft white on there and uh, waited for it to dry of course for about two hours dried very quickly then I just went ahead and decided to start using the Arteza and I was using the gold I'm using the pearl royal purple I'm using the Pearl Magenta, and I am using the Pearl um, Electric Blue, and the Pearl White. So, yeah, I thought they'd come out real nice because I don't want the colors real dark. And I was thinking, you know, this would be perfect. So, went ahead and put the rest of my resin on my canvas, my wood canvas board. I already have my colors mixed up. And I'll probably fast forward this in a little bit once we get there. So. Hold on here, let me uh, fast start fast forwarding it. Well, while I'm showing you the colors that I just told you, <laughs> I could go ahead and uh, cover what I'm supposed to for Arteza. And um, of course I told you before, there's always a 10 percent coupon that's available to you um, so when you're checking out use the coupon code Sherry's life one if you decide to purchase that'd be great if not no problem just browse through if you'd like to check out what they've got they do have so many fun things so there's a US link and a UK link in my description and uh, this is my second time being an affiliate with Arteza. And I do get a small commission from the sales of uh, the products at no extra cost to you. Okay. So that's what I needed to cover. So, yeah. So I really did find out that these paints are perfect for resin, resining, especially a space painting because they were they're so mild and not super super bright just perfect it didn't you can see kind of right through them the stars <clears throat> and I'm kind of talking real quiet because I know I always talk really loud in this voice recorder so I'm doing my best at trying to keep my voice low for y'all. I'm just spreading my resin around. I have it drying in my drying rack now, so we'll see tomorrow how it turned out. It should turn out good. I made sure and torched it good, get out all the bubbles. 
may end up doing a second clear top coat on it. Because it was kind of hard to see bubbles with, you know, all this <laughs> the, the, the glitter. It really made it hard. So I did do my best at looking at it on a side view, you know, with the light shining. And um, just really hard. So that I guess that's the best I could do is just to torch it real good. And then we'll see tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and I'll speed it up now. I'm just mixing in all this. So. Oh, I don't know if I can speed it up with a voice. Well, let me stop this and see if I can.
Okay, so there we are. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, I, I was trying to uncover my one star there. Because <laughs> it was covered up a little bit. But it still turned out beautiful. I was very, very happy with it. Um, as you can see, I used the hair blower. I seen someone doing that because um, some the heat guns just don't push it enough sometimes. And I really do like that method better than the, the heat gun using the hair blower. You just heat it up with your heat gun. And then you can move it around with your hair blower. Didn't think of that before. <laughs> so now I was just popping any bubbles, if there was any, because I couldn't see them with all the glitter. But you see how that Arteza worked very well with this because it's very mild. Not bright and um, not bright at all. Because they're pearl. I realized that today. So they're actually perfectly, they're ideal for resin paintings, I think, Space Galaxy ones, especially those. I'm really, really happy with this one. What I'm doing should be lifting it. Oh, that was another thing I was going to tell you. Well, let's look at it here. I only had one glove left. <laughs> So I had to use a plastic for my other hand. Isn't that gorgeous? I swear it looks like 3D depth there behind all of the stars behind and stuff. I love it so much. <laughs> Now, I've seen other people just use the toothbrush and, you know, splatter the white paint. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to put some uh, glitter in there. Make it look prettier. <laughs> it is. It's gorgeous with the glitter. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. And um, go ahead and check out that description. All of the information is in there. And um, I appreciate you watching this. Hope you have a very good day or evening, whatever it may be for you. And give this a try. This is uh, really, really easy. It's just prepping your board ahead of time and then putting your clear resin down. That's it. I was saying how I was pretty happy with those. Even though I wasn't sure if I painted them nice. So you let me know what you think. Okay, guys? Bye-bye now.